Now, the good news is that this is such a common thing to do in object-oriented programming that Lua provides the ability to remove the need to manually pass this in. It knows that if you're going person dot, it knows what you mean. You just got to help Lua out just a little bit. So instead of doing person or table dot the method, you can do table colon the method. And it tells Lua, hey, can you go ahead and pass this as the first parameter? And it significantly reduces the amount of typing you have to do. So if we hit colon on the method calls, the table dot method, it becomes table colon method. Then when you run, it'll automatically pass this as the me parameter, or in this case, the first parameter. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and run, and you can see it works the exact same way. All right? You have your regular human starts out with a person of damage of one because it's using fists. It's got the equip function there. We define it in line. You can define it elsewhere. It doesn't matter. And the weapon dagger, and that's fine too. How using the, the colon syntax for object dot or table dot, you replace it with a colon that automatically includes the scope as the first parameter or who you would like to affect with that particular method. Now, again, this is super common to do, right? So why wouldn't they keep going and make it even easier for object-oriented programmers who are used to defining those methods with scopes attached to the table they want to affect? Well, you can. And just like we did before, if you define this function with a colon in the name, it'll work the same. So let's go back to the old syntax and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to define it outside as a normal function declaration. So this is our old function where we did person dot equipped and this will still work and it doesn't matter how you reference it as long as you do module colon. But in this syntax, you get an advantage you don't get with anonymous functions and that is you can change the dot to a colon here as well. And once you do that, it knows that it's being called very similar to this, but instead of call and it automatically attaches person, it knows that it's going to be expected to get a first parameter as the scope. So you can literally remove me and replace it with a magical built-in variable called self. So if you're from Java with this in JavaScript or in Python and Ruby with self, this should look extremely familiar. The difference instead of, instead of dot syntax, this method call will guarantee that it gets it as a first parameter and this will guarantee it'll automatically have self. So this says all passes as the first parameter and this syntax says, cool, I'm expecting to get a first parameter of that. I'm going to go ahead and steal it, set it to self and then treat every other parameter as normal. So it's a bit of magic behind the scenes. If you memorize it and do it once, your code becomes a lot smaller and feels a lot more object oriented based.